the law for revolution. In the last diet in 1847 to 1849, the stalemate between the reformers and the conservatives was broken when they heard the news of the Paris Revolution. Kossuth and the reformers were quick to see that the news will cause an uproar in Hungary, especially because of the question of serfdom. On the 3rd of March, in his address to the upper house, he suggested that in order to avert a catastrophe, like in Paris, a number of reform ideas should be implemented. A responsible government for Hungary, general taxation and compulsory indemnification. The upper house were binding their time but when the news of the revolution in Vienna arrived, they accepted the address to the king on the 14th of March and sailed on a steamboat to Vienna to present the address to the king. In Pest Buda, the young radicals led by Sándor Petőfi, Mori Okai and Pál Vasvári decided on starting a protest on the 15th of March, 1848. Starting out from the Pilvax Café, they were joined by hundreds of university students. The protesters then went on to take control of Landerer's printing shop and printed their demands, the so-called 12 points and Patufi's poem, The National Song. In the afternoon, about 20,000 people gathered in front of the National Museum, where Patufi recited his poem and Joja Virini and Pál Vashvari recited the proclamation with the 12 points. Damn being. We demand the freedom of the press, the abolition of censorship. A countable ministry in Budapest, or in other words, all ministries and the government must be elected by the parliament. Annual parliamentary sessions in Pest by democratic parliamentary elections, the abolition of the old feudal parliament based on the feudal estates, civil and religious equality before the law, a national guard, the joint sharing of tax burdens, or in other words, abolition of the tax exemption of all aristocracy. The abolition of feudal relations, juries and representation on equal basis, a national bank. The army must take an oath to the constitution. The Hungarian soldiers shall not be dispatched abroad. Foreign soldiers shall be removed from Hungary. The freeing of political prisoners. And lastly, union with Transylvania. Later, some of the liberal noblemen, for example Gabor Klausa, also joined the protesters and so did the council of the city of Pest. The people then went into the castle to free Mihai Tancic, a radical journalist, the only political prisoner in the castle. In the evening, the public gathered in the National Theatre to see Bang Ban, a play that had been censored by the court. Back in Vienna, the emperor had his council rejected Kossuth's address. However, when the news of the revolution hit Vienna and Palatine Stephen in Hungarian, István Nádor personally stood out for the Hungarians, the council saw it better to ratify the address into a bill. Also, the Nádor appointed Count Lajos Batyányi prime minister. The Batyányi government was a coalition government with radicals, moderates, conservatives and the centralists in the government. Lajos Kossuth was the Minister of Finance, Bertalan Samara as Minister of the Interior, Ferenc Deák, Minister of Justice, Gabor Klausa as Minister of Agriculture, Industry and Commerce, Count Pálas Terházi as Minister beside the King of Hungary, István Széchenyi, Minister of Public Works and Transport, Baron József Ötvös, Minister of Religion and Education, and Lázár Mészáros, Minister of War.